Good day, this is Prophetess Wind. Thank you so much for joining me. If you're joining me for the first time, I'd like to welcome you. Hallelujah. To my subscribers, I just want to thank you so much. The channel is growing because of you. From one to three hundred and something, it's a pleasure. It's an honor. Hallelujah. We are highly favored in this channel. If you're watching me for the first time, I just want to welcome you. This is the true prophet of the Lord. Amen. Today, we're discussing one of the most important topics in our lives. Amen. Because what I'll be talking about, I'll also share my testimony. The title says, people can go to witch doctors in your name. Hallelujah. <laughs> people can go to witch doctors in your name. Hallelujah. And how do I know this? I remember there was a particular time when I first got married you know i was under a lot of attacks i remember my bishop from at home uh, bishop matibula calling me to say that you know what i see a lot of demonic attacks around your life amen you need to pray you need to pull up your socks you know when you get married you get excited amen <laughs> you even put the bible away hallelujah sometimes you find that your graph is down amen when people go to the witch doctor it's not because your graph is down hallelujah but i just want to clarify there to say that with me it's because i was so excited i was still on a honeymoon phase amen you know when you are still excited you want to enjoy your marriage you are happy but after some time when i first got married you know my drop did drop a little bit because i was no longer meditating on the weight i was meditating on my wedding i was meditating on my husband you know <laughs> looking forward to the future and i was under a lot of attacks i mean while I was still under a lot of attacks, I remember in my sleep, that is when I knew that I was under attack. There was this old man, old man, you know, an old man, but I could not see the face. Once you cannot see the face, you know, for sure, this is purely witchcraft. Amen. <laughs> so when I saw that man, the first time I asked myself, what does this man want to do? I was sleeping, but I could see in the spirit. Remember, for us who are born again, we can see physically, we can also see in the spirit. So when that man was busy coming to my room, I could see. And the man was naked was not wearing anything but it could not show me his face you know then you know i woke up i prayed i rebuked the spirit then the following day it was group of women amen coming again you know so i begin to speak to one of my prayer partners to say that i'm experiencing these things in my house where i'm staying you know the first it was this old man coming now it's women coming i don't know what they want because i can see in the spirit you now when they are coming I pray in the name of Jesus. I knew that the name of Jesus is powerful by then. So I woke up, we prayed with that lady, we prayed. I said, God, I want you to reveal this attack. What's going on? Amen. Then I remember a vision, like I'm sitting, like you're watching me. I could see it like it's television screens playing. You know, I saw this group of, 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 of I saw a witch doctor. Né? When I saw a witch doctor, I also saw uh, somebody with a witch doctor. They were there in my name. Amen why were they there in the first place god revealed you know when we we're praying he revealed when i was looking at that vision to say that i know they went to that witch doctor because they are saying you must not have children amen what they want they wanted to be married but they don't want you to have children because they know that once you don't have children like the bible says a woman who does not have children it's a woman that is not satisfied amen so it's in the book of Proverbs, you know, that's what God's saying, that if a woman does not have children, she's not satisfied. You're always looking for, you know, when you get married, you want to have children, you want to have beautiful things in your home, you want to see great things, you want to be loved, you want to see all these marvelous things that you are experience, expecting to happen in your marriage. So nevertheless, let me not speak much and come back to the vision. So when that lady was sitting there, God is faithful. He did not show me faces, but I knew that the moment God does not show me faces because it also goes down to the spiritual level which you find yourself to be in. So I, I did not see the faces to say, is this my relative? But it, for sure, it was somebody who knew me. Amen. I knew in that vision, but this is somebody who knows me. Amen. And why did they go to the witch doctor? Normally, sometimes when people go to witch doctors, it's because they are jealous of you. They are jealous of your progress. They don't want to see you getting anywhere in life. Amen. For me, at least, they were, they went, you know, <laughs> to, 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 to talk about, to, to talk to that witch doctor to say that she must not have children. Then when I woke up, you know, when I woke up from that vision, I was like, God, 
even though I could see it live, live when they were sitting, and also the bones, I could see them. Also the witch doctor, I could see them. Also their request, I could see what they were requesting. So what I'm speaking about, I'm not speaking about theory or things that I don't know. It is the truth. There are people who do go to witch doctors in your name. So am I trying to scare you in saying all of these things? No, they go in different ways. I want to share a testimony of my colleague, she came to me, you know, she's coming from a wealthy family, but she says that, you know what, it's hard for me to get married. And then another pastor revealed to her to say that when you were young, somebody took part of your clothing. Can you imagine when you were young, not me who was just getting married and somebody going to a witch doctor that I can be able to stand up for myself and pray in the gap. So this one, she says that she grew up in a family where they have got everything and she's the only child. Then she says to me, prophetess, I want you to pray for me because what has been revealed there is that somebody took part of my clothing, you know, you know, you know, the grooms or whatever, or t-shirt. I don't know what they said they took. I don't want to lie. But she said they took something. Her outfits, one of her outfits was taken. But the mother did not realize that something was taken from the home. And they took that thing straight to the witch doctor to say that, you know what, this lady must never get married. At least for me, I was married. But after getting married, they were saying, what, you must never have children. So what am I saying? They can go to a witch doctor to say that you must not pass. Amen. I remember in another vision that I want to share, it was my mom. Amen. God revealed to me that somebody is going to go and give her 300 rand. 300 rand. That 300 rand, they went to a, the witch doctor to do something with that 300 rand. Amen. So that whenever she receives money, money does not stay. <laughs> money runs out of the door. You know, you get paid today, but all of a sudden you don't even know where your money went. Amen. It, it, you're like, no, I just got paid, but there are a lot of things that come into chow your mind. Good, your money is directed not to you, but to things that, that chows your mind. You see, good. now you're not progressing. Why? Because your money is going to another direction. So it was the same situation. So I called my mom. I was like, you know what? God revealed something to me. I'm a prophet. Remember, this is prophetess when this speaking. So I called my mom. I'm like, she knows that I'm a prophet. She's also a prophet and intercessor. So... When I called her, I said, Mom, I saw something. She was like, what is it? I said, I saw somebody coming to give you 300. She said, ah, they've already came to give me the 300 run. But just because she has a descending spirit, she said, I fear not. Amen. The Bible says, even if we walk through the shadow of death, we shall fear no evil. Sometimes they can take your items to go to a witch doctor to give them to work on it and return it back to you. Sometimes they can take something like a gift, like I share in one of the videos to say that, you know what? Somebody gave my mom a bag you know a bag it was a nice beautiful bag back in the olden days my mom says you know what i could not sleep i could not sleep until the holy spirit began to reveal so what am i saying if you are watching me and you see that you know what most of my things are being delayed in life you know i can't have children there is a reason the bible says hannah was kept childless by the lord amen <laughs> but in my case it was not the lord it was people who were deciding on my behalf to say that in that marriage is not gonna behave she She's not going to have children. But by the grace of the Lord, I remember telling the pastor, Pastor Given, to say that I saw this vision. You know, we prayed together. I was like, we need to fast and pray about this thing. Amen. Remember, I got married young. I stayed long before I could have children. But nevertheless, I was not challenged. But I did have my own children at the age of 23. So what do I, I got married at the age of 21, somewhere there. So... <laughs> So what am I saying? Sometimes when God appears to you and reveal things to you, it's not for you to fight with people or to post on your status to say that you can't, you can't, you can't defeat me. Hallelujah. God is revealing so that you can be able to pray. If you are not aware that there are people who can go to a witch doctor in your name, you need to pray. Amen. And God who reveals things is going to reveal things to you. What did Daniel say? He says, God, you're God who reveals mysteries. You remember when the king says, come tell me what my dream is all about. God can reveal in a dream. Amen. God can tell you what is happening around you. God says, can I hide anything from my servant, Abraham? I'm not going to hide anything from him. So what am I saying? You need to pray and find out what is happening around you. There is evil around you, but you're not even aware. So you need to pray for God to reveal. After when God has revealed, you pray about it. Amen. You don't go confronting people to say, yeah, I want to kill my mom. <laughs> I saw the 300 that you wanted to give her. You witches. Amen. No, no, no. It doesn't work like that because we are not wrestling against flesh and blood. And the Bible does confirm to say that the battle is not yours, but I wanted to confirm that people can 
go to a witch doctor in your name. You apply, you don't get a job. Why? Because somebody has cast out a spell to say that you never get a job. Amen. You want to buy a car, all you, you, you hear rejected, you know, your application unsuccessful. <laughs> Amen. Isn't it fun when you apply, they say we have received your CV, but unfortunately, no, those, those are not the things that we want to hear. Sometimes when you see with this delay in a particular area of your life, you need to pray and ask God to reveal. Like myself in my situation, I pray to say, God, why do I keep on seeing this man coming in my dream? What does he want? Why do I see a group of men coming in my dream? What do they want? Until God revealed to say, hey, they want to a witch doctor in your name so that you will not give birth. But do I have children? I'm so blessed right now with three beautiful guests. Girls, 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 girls. Amen. <laughs> I will post them for you to see. Hallelujah. Why? Because God is faithful. No one has your future in their hands but God. I love you. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.